Hey guys, it's Bailey and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be an unbagging of my June Ipsy Glam Bag. You guys know how I like to do these. Instead of giving you just a gloss over and telling you what comes inside, I like to dig in and give you reviews of each individual product, share my thoughts, maybe a little demo, tell you how they performed, everything. So because that means we have a lot of ground to cover, let's go ahead and dive in which is kind of punny because the theme is a little bit summery. The card that came with this month is absolutely gorgeous. It's Swim Into Beauty. I wish I had gotten whatever highlight she is wearing, but I didn't. Instead, I got a few other summery items that I'm excited to talk about. The first of which is, well, not necessarily this one, but the first is primer. This is from Smashbox. Smashbox. It's their Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I feel like this is one of the most popular primers out there. Maybe it's because it's their first. They now have green and purple, which are kind of color correcting, uh, but this I think was the first. It's an oil-free primer. I don't personally like it because it has that kind of silicone-y feel. It's ultra smooth and um, fill lines and smooth your complexion out. I personally think it feels like my foundation is going to slide right off and I don't notice like it enhances the lasting power of my foundation. So it is kind of a tinier example and I might throw it in a makeup bag just to maybe thin out other products that I have if I take say my Cover FX custom cover drops while I'm traveling or something to that effect but I probably won't be buying a full size of this just because it does have that kind of silicone-y feel that I'm not super fond of in a primer. Next up is a mask, and I feel like I'm starting with products that I'm not super crazy about, but I promise there is super fun stuff to come. This is from the brand Be Fine, and it's the Cucumber Facial Mask with Cucumber, which I feel like is kind of... Um, redundant with the title, but even still, it is a mask, and it is just okay. A part of my lack of enthusiasm around it is probably because I don't really like to try skincare this way. I feel like most of the time when you receive skincare in a size this big in a bag like this, you don't, it's not really enough to really see how it fits into your skincare routine. And so it, it's fine. I've been able to use it twice, but I'm almost a good portion of the way through this bottle. And so I don't really feel like I have a good idea for how it's going to incorporate through my long-term skincare routine, if that makes any sense. So it smells great, I'll tell you that much. And I think there might be a discount code. Look for all the discount co codes that are included this month in the info below, which is another good thing about Ipsy is that even if you don't necessarily like the product that comes inside your bag, you they do give you a discount code so you can try other products. Or if you know of a product you do love from the brand, you can get a discount on it that is Ipsy exclusive, exclusive so you don't have to wait for their friends and family sale or, or or anything like that. That's kind of nice. Next up is a product that I actually do like. This is the It Cosmetics Brow Power. And it's so funny because if you watch my empties video, you will know that I actually just chucked two It Cosmetics eye pencils out, neither of which were this one. They have a ton of eye pencils and this does manage to distinguish itself from both of those that I just finished up and threw away. So the Brow Power Universal Eye Pencil has sort of an oval tip. And I love that even though this is a tester, it includes both the spoolie that comes on one and I'm always a sucker for a brow pencil with a spoolie, as well as the brow pencil, obviously. This is unique because it's a harder pencil, but it comes in an oval shape that I personally find is really good for creating both thick and thin lines. It's kind of like the equivalent of an angled liner shape because you can either use the broad side to really create larger or fill in your brows, or you can tilt it to either the most narrow tip or on its side to create something that looks more like a natural hair stroke. Then you go over that spoolie and you smooth it all out. Now, the one thing about this is if you're looking for something that kind of multitasks as both a brow filler and pomade to help your brows stay in place, you're gonna wanna look for one of their other pencils. I mentioned it in that video and I can't remember what it was, but I will link it down below if you're interested. This is not a multi-purpose sort of brow pencil. It really is good for creating hair-like structures and filling in your brows, but really don't look, for, look, don't look to it to help hold your brows in place because it just doesn't have that kind of texture Texture. It is more of a true pencil type texture. But even at that, it really is easy to apply and gives you a little bit of additional versatility with the shape of the actual pencil. And this month, It Cosmetics has a 20% off coupon code with Ipsy, which is awesome. Moving on to the eye products, this is a brand that I actually heard about right before I got this in my Ipsy. Ironically, it's Tristique. And basically, the entire cosmetics line is stick products from your foundation, your concealer. They, this is an eye pencil 
I think they have lip pencils, I want to say. It's but it's all pencils and they sell them in sets individually. They are a little bit pricier, but you do get a discount code this month and the pencil that I received is the Mini Shadow Crayon and this is in the shade Marimoto Pink Pearl. It is what I am wearing on my eyes right now and it's the only thing I'm wearing on my eyes right now and I was really impressed with this. I was a little concerned that it would be overpriced and I feel like with so many stick products out there, they really have a high bar set. They have to be super smooth, they have to last all day, they can't crease, they can't fade. I'm really happy to say that it glided on super smoothly, I didn't encounter any creasing, and I mean given what a champagne, you, the kind of pigmentation you can expect from a champagne colored pencil, it had really good color payoff. Great not only obviously as an all over wash of color on the lids, but also as an inner corner highlight. As a side note, these smaller pencils in particular, when I was looking at their website, they come in a trio for $32 and you can mix and match both lip and eye pencils, I think. Plus you get whatever discount is on this month, which I think is 15% through Ipsy. So that's a pretty good deal. If you really want to give these pencils a nice, good sample, I personally think I might take advantage of it because it is such an unknown beauty brand to me at least. And I was super impressed with this pencil. So good to know. Moving on to the next product, which is actually coincidentally the last product. It is from the brand JCat Beauty, which I've mentioned before on this channel. It's an amazingly relatively underrated but affordable beauty brand out there, and they've I think sent quite a few things through Ipsy. It's how I first found out about them. Actually, when I was talking about their Wonder Lip Paint as one of my must-haves for summer, super affordable, this is yet another lip product. This is their Liptitude 24-7 Hydrating Lip Stain, obviously, wearing it right now. I think they have two shades, and of the two they have, I have the shade Hickeylicious. You could have gotten this or one other shade in this month's bag, but they do have a pretty wide variety of lip shades within this line. So unlike the thing I was just holding up before, which is a Wonder Lip Paint, very similar to OCC's Lip Tar. This is more like a liquid lipstick. Despite being called a lip stain, it definitely is super long lasting on the lips, but it's definitely not transfer proof. I really chalk it up to the texture. It kind of comes off in layers, so you are going to see transfer on glasses. It's gonna come off when you eat food, but because it has such a thick consistency, it's almost like it comes off in layers so that even though you see that transfer, you still have another layer of product underneath. I found this lasted seriously through eating and drinking throughout the day for at least four hours. So it doesn't necessarily stain the lips, but the finish doesn't necessarily go away either like it can with a lot of kind of lip staining products that might have a glossy finish or a balmy sheen. The finish goes away and then it stains your lips and that is not really how this works, which I think is going to be a good, a nice change for those of you who don't don't necessarily like products that stain your lips without any sort of finish. It has a doe foot applicator, so it is really easy to apply, probably more so than the lip paint if that's not something you're used to working with, so that's really nice. But it does have the same familiar, like pepperminty sort of scent. Not really a taste, but the scent is definitely there and noticeable when you apply it. I think it's pretty pleasant, and because it's peppermint, I feel like a lot of people are going to be used to it. But that is all up to personal preference. So that's everything that came in my June Ipsy bag. I'm really pleased with everything. I'm not sure if I'm going to find a holy grail amongst these products like I did last month with that Bella Pierre liner, which I'm still loving. But I do have to say it was still a good bag and definitely worth every penny of the $10 it costs a month. I This is still by far my favorite monthly subscription service. But as always, as I wrap things up, I would love to hear what you guys have gotten in your monthly subscriptions, whether it's Ipsy or something else, because if there's a better service out there, I definitely want to give it a try. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.